yeah. All the plates, yeah. Every time you need some plates, they're gone. Totally stocked up. Excellent. I feel like this could be a, a strongman event. I feel like it probably has been a strongman event. Loading plates into a movable object. Easiest way to move plates. Let's just hope it doesn't tip. No tipping. Here's our spread. We got lots and lots of weights now. All the tens. We got some fives, two and a half bars. We got some really heavy dumbbells. We bought a lot of stuff today, but the most important thing we bought. This. What do you call this? I don't know. Ankle strap. Ankle strap. Without it, there would be no glute kickbacks. That's David's favorite exercise. That's how I get a really strong sumo deadlift. Donkey kickbacks, mm -hmm. glute mm -hmm. kickbacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most important piece of equipment at Crooked Barbell. Okay, with our squat rack, we got, it came with this attachment thingy here. Well, we paid extra, it didn't come with it. So we can do rows and lat pull downs see it from the side here oh man how are you lifting all that weight so crazy show us the guns oh that's not the gun there we go the gun penny you ready for a walk it's time to warm up for bench press when I am home, this is what I usually do to warm up for any workouts at home. Let's go. Let's go. Walk, walk, walk. All right. The secret code to my house is... I don't know what happened there. I was gonna give you the secret code, but my camera just cut off. So I guess we're just gonna walk. Just wanted to let you guys know that I walk for about 30 minutes or a little over a mile every day with this little girl. Penny Poo Poo Pants, as Kira so affectionately calls her. All right, see you guys at the workout. Hello everyone. This is me benching 295 for five. This was a good bench day. I did six sets of five and everything was moving really well, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we both bench at the Crooked Barbell, our little home gym, uh, two days a week. Uh, mo both of mine are bench days. Are both yours upper body days only? Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. Yeah. Um, my programming's really boring right now. David's definitely more exciting. Um, he's got, he's getting closer and closer. You're just under 12 weeks, right? Now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, here's some of his accessories. How come you chose to do these particular accessories? Uh, for some reason, rows have been shown to make people's bench go up. Everybody has different explanations why, but I could care less of these explanations. The only thing I know is that if you do rows, your back gets stronger and bigger, and for some reason, your bench goes up, and that's all that matters to me. Big back, big bench. These are interesting, too, these uh, push-ups. Yeah, these are deep strap stretch push-ups the only reason i do them is to get a better uh pump in my chest and my triceps basically trying to get more volume in and marissa enda did them yeah um these basically are, you're marissa enda yeah basically <laughs> yeah uh i am a world champion and i've never been to worlds mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but she has i just never been there i mean <laughs> Does that matter? You've been there in your heart. Yes, that's in my what heart. that's what's important here. Uh, these hurt my elbows. I'm envious that you can do these. It seems to hurt a lot of people's elbows. It doesn't hurt mine. I can do them without any pain, and uh, for some reason, it seems to develop your triceps really well if you have no pain. And then superset it with dumbbell curls. We only have one dumbbell though. Yep. So I gotta <laughs> do it. 
in uh, what is it called Prins prison yard style uh, the reason I do curls is actually um, to help with tendonitis so I don't get tendonitis it's not so my biceps can be bigger that's just a cool after effect yeah I mean I do it because I want my biceps to be bigger <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I haven't got, I've only gotten tendonitis once, thankfully. Um, there's Penny. Penny's like in all these videos. Yeah, that's a little puppy. Uh, there's mine. I'm doing spoto presses. I actually think I hurt my chest shoulder area doing these. It was feeling a little spicy. I haven't really benched with a bar in a while, so <clears throat> it feels rather difficult. Um... Yeah, so, and like, I don't know about the pauses. On a spoda, you're supposed to pause a little bit. I don't, Who I don't, says that? I don't think this qualifies as a pause. Spoto and go? Yeah. Um, and then this other video is me doing Z presses. Z presses, you sit on the ground. My shoulder is hurting, so I decided I would try and do it from a pin. Um, and doing it from a pin actually made it so it didn't hurt. And so I'll probably keep them as Z presses. Woohoo workarounds. Workarounds. Um, so that's our gym. That's our backyard gym. That's Crooked Barbell. Um, that's pretty much it for this week. Yeah. Next week, coming at you with some strong knowledge. Bye. Bye.